What's going on everybody, it's your boy Warmaster back again in today's episode of World Conquer Force mod and today's mod we are going to beta testing this all together in this Canadian model World War 1 mod by Canadian modders and, and some other YouTubers, sorry, uh, modders as well so this is the battle of Gali Lopi uh, which happens in World War 1 so a little bit of story of this uh, mod is that uh, this sorry, uh, this uh, battle is that uh, the Ottomans and uh, sorry the British and the French uh, they try to cut off uh, around this area at Gallipoli so that they can uh, cut off some parts of the Byzantine uh, Empire in Asia so it makes uh, Constantinople a little bit more vulnerable so that was their point to make you know Ottomans try to uh, you know like surrenders early so that they can also cut off the battle in Suez Canal they can also also help the Russians fighting against uh, the German as well by giving them supply and so on and so on turns out historically they did not win but uh, this is an alternate mission you have the British over here you have the French over here so the British are here as well so you have your goals here here over here, I think there's many multiple cities that we had to take in which it's gonna take a lot of times, but we'll try our best Okay, but with uh, the battle started the ships dealing a lot of damage. I think we have a good start uh, I'm gonna do this. Oh my god 300 damage. We're gonna do this about uh, Let's say 10 minutes if it's more than 10 minutes I think we're gonna quit and let's see if uh, it turns out quite okay because Canadian modder said that uh, he want to fix this to make sure that it's easier to play and less lag and people are able to play this without any problems. So I'm gonna go Rommel for this one Because he's artillery. So the damage is 145, which is okay uh, There's no armor. It's only infantry fully infantry because in World War one you rarely have this kind of technology So it's fully infantry units. There's no tank only artillery siege artillery if you might ask uh, some would have been a how do I call this one armor train but not really accessible it's really hard to you know go from armor train into the full sea okay good so now in first turn we already breached this one so we're gonna use all of battleships uh, along the water but there's also a lot of mines here as well Okay, you can see the movement is very fast, which is really good to avoid uh, long term of using this. Okay, so we're gonna use this to break up the fort over here, and we're gonna make sure that our troops will also land in a different direction. Uh, we don't want to pack our troops just to land at one, uh, uh, how do we call it? Settlements or maybe uh, packs area so I'm gonna move my troop over here some of them uh, some of them gonna land some of them gonna go back okay we're gonna make a lot of effort into doing this so we're gonna move up to the top there we go and here and here and okay sorry and over here capture the cities why not okay so it's labeled as blue it's fine so we're gonna take on the ports okay and then we're gonna go in okay so we're gonna move some of our troops here that's the that's the tactic to avoid packing at one area maybe we can do this and looks like the British are not doing well first turn they didn't land yet this guy is doing okay some of them are trying to get to the ports Uh, if we use troop, I think we're gonna go with this guy, which is good. The war general, okay. Okay, the damage is quite good, not that bad. Maybe we can do this too. Take his elements and then we take him out here. I, I love the way that he managed to put the uh, the turban on the Ottomans. So the white turban and then well, the red turban, not actually a turban, the red one. Some kind of hats, I don't know what is it, but similar to a hat. So this is historically alternate history, it's not actually happened. Uh, 
the Ottomans did their best to avoid. I mean, what could have happened if this mission was successful? Everything would have been open. Uh, Constantinople is vulnerable and the Russian would have get a better support at fighting. But trust me, if the Russians get the support from the British, one thing gonna happen is that the loyalty in Russia would stay the same. It would not be, you know, like being killed during the October Revolution from the Russians, from the Soviets. Okay. Okay, with this movement, I think we're doing okay. Okay, so one thing I like about this one is that uh, Siege Artillery is having a lot of movement. And I know a lot of people being complaining, oh, why why do this mod is so flat? Where's uh, all the... Uh, terrain, we are all the mountains, the forestry. Uh, as you all know that Canadian model tried to make this as early beta and fun to most modders and players and YouTubers to make sure that they experience the earliest version and then when they add the terrain, I think the damage would have changed, the movement would have changed, everything would have changed. So like I said, this is the beta. Even though the conquest is out, you can see that the conquest have you know, like different terrain and stuff because terrains are not that easy. So they try to make base game first before they try to add terrain, texture, you know, temperature. Even Eros mod have this kind of snow effect, which is really cool, by the way. And that's that's the point because everything when everything is done, then they're gonna add the final effect, the magic, to make sure that it fits uh, players' satisfaction. But at this point, this is still in beta. Uh, I think this one is quite easy, way easier than the Battle of the Balkans, uh, in which I played last time. The Battle of the Balkans, uh, kind of, you know, like the the the, the, the Balkans, they kind of spam so many troops, so it's really hard to go there. So here's here's the trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tiles of mines around this area. Uh, we could go around here. We could go around there. We could do anything at this point, but it's best that we all land and try to make a safe spot. I don't want to uh, like move at this point, or we can just use our ships to go against the mines. And also, there's some surprise from Lucas Pro. Uh, there's a bit, there's gonna be a new update for his mod, so I'll ask him if I can show some image and information towards him. We'll see about that. I also asked him to buff Germany. I mean, if you want to make Germany survive, buff him. Okay, so a few turns in the British, they land a few troops, just like I said. This, the thing that I did is that I did not spam at this area. I tried to release the tension because if you keep going into one place, then if the enemies keep on spawning, then they're gonna attack you. So what do you do? By that, you try to move them into a different directions. Try to land at a different point because you can't just land at this area. Just look, look at the British. There's always land here. Why don't they just land at this point? Keep on landing, landing, and landing. And one thing about them is that they have these armor cards. Damage would have been OP, but nah. You can see. You can see, oh, the Ottomans also have their cars. God damn it. Let's see the damage. 60. Oh, you can just clear it then. Yeah, it's only 60, so you can just clear everything. Nah, I'm gonna go up there. I mean, the damage would have been done more towards the uh, convoys rather than the big ships. And uh, I think we can move it right here. Yeah, that's what we can play along with. Try to uh, observe the mine because I didn't try the damage on the mine. 60 damage is too easy. Would have been like 100 or 200 or how many damage would it have? Oh, 2000. How about 200 damage for that? I mean, that would have been more sensible. The attack, uh, sorry, the damage from explosion would have cost more. But for 60, mm, it's too, too much. I mean, it's a battleship, it's not a destroyer. If it is a destroyer, then destroyer would have 
ease the damage, the tension of the damage would have been more. But uh, only 60, I think that's a little bit less. Unless there's a, uh, like, you know, heavies, uh, bombardment from the Ottomans. You can see this little stretch here allows you to attack. Okay. I think I need to send this guy back to the seas faster. I don't want them to be late. They are they're already late, you know. If we can send them to the sea quick, I think we can just take this area faster. And then we can send just a few troops stay here, stationaries, so that we can deal with them. So we need to use our battleships to uh, ease the mining in here, just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Let's try this one. 60 damage. You can see. So if the damage towards the convoy 60 is sensible, but towards the uh, battleship, yeah, battleship 60, I think it's a bit less because the HP of this uh, battleship is about 2,000. So, yeah. Okay, so. What's this? Mustafa Mustafa Fezzi. Maybe there's another surprise reinforcement. I don't know. But this area is really, really open. And now there's a submarine. I think we're done just by taking the city. This is enough to show because... Uh, the, the British side is a bit hard, but for the French side, I think it's too easy. We can just land at second turns and manage to move at a, a really fast pace. Okay, you can tell. And 100 damage, that's too much for a convoy to, to receive. Okay. Okay, you can just follow the path. And now the British also arrive at the field at the battle okay okay so damage uh, differently this one is 115 now which is okay maybe it is a, a little bit deep you know I don't know about that but uh, might be that case so a lot of people ask me why do I always post it my YouTube video sometime with, with commentary sometime without commentary uh, as you all know that I have a really busy life try to make it life my life even so sometimes I just got tired and I know that I had to upload it you know so yeah sometimes I have free time just like today I have some free time so I decided to commentate uh, first it's a mod I need to review this one for Matt and uh, yeah kind of busy with life so okay we already took this within nine turns so uh, just so you know we can maybe win this in 20 or 18 with our best because the damage to the ship is quite less the British already landed and probably the the most fearsome battlefield right here I mean it failed I mean come on it's, it's Navy it's naval invasion it didn't go that well there should be more fortifications if you want to make it easy so yeah, this is uh, actually a good mission. I'm hoping you see more from Canadian Modder. So subscribe to Canadian Modder for more mods. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys next time.